when he started firing gun, people ran out, over 300 people. So at what stage of the event did this take place? It's only when we come back from church, after the, we give them cola nut, uh -huh. which I presented cola nut to him too, uh -huh. and uh, we start sharing uh, drinks to them. That problem started. Was there any gunshot? Yes, yes, there was a gunshot. There was a gunshot. Was there any injury? No, 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 there was no injury. Um, was and what did your wife say concerning the event? Um, you know, women, my wife uh, was not happy. She was not happy. You know, somebody who is uh, having a child education and something like that happened. I mean, she was not happy. But uh, I encouraged her. But she should take her, there's no problem. So what happened to all the preparations you've made food-wise, the food? Oh, we, 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 wasted we wasted the food. The drinks, even the drinks have been fridged. You know, if you buy drink, you fridge it. The person will not take it again. Yeah. I took the, I took the drinks. Nobody take the, free, the drink again because everyone left. More than 400 people came there. And uh, did you try to find out why this person said to spoil your program because this is a family matter it's not a uh, Igbo people's case it's not on Hannah's uh, people why did he decide to come and spoil your program in fact my brother i can't even sell because my very self i was very surprised this guy in question sam is my brother we are from the same place in Bisa. but i was very surprised when he had his two or three two child education i organized everything for him but I was very surprised to see him in that moment. After recognizing him when he entered, but I don't know that he had a uh, bad thing in mind to come there. So I was very you know, you know, let's remember that we are Igbo people. Yeah. And uh, even when you go back to Igbo land, during events, a lot of people go with their guns, you know, to show support, not necessarily to come and cause confusion. Yeah. Uh, at a stage in the event, they raise the gun and they shoot. And even you will be happy. At least there were some gunshots on your behalf. If the king is being buried, they give him a tunala. You know, they do shoot guns. Do you think that he came with the intention, you know, to grace or to support your program since he's from your your, your community? But instead, something else happened. You know, my brother, we are in foreign land. Uh -huh. we, are, we are Nigerians. Yes. Igbo to be precise. Mm -hmm. We are not Ghanaians. That day was my first time seeing Igbo man bringing gun, shooting gun in, a, in an occasion, which Ghana person have never done before. I mean, here is not Igbo land. If you want to do something, you do it in Igbo land. All right, thank not you very much. Thank welcome. you very much for your time. We start the uh, dragging, shifting matters. You understand me? This is a social, cultural outfit we use to interact with each other, the Igbos. The suspect or the accused person is not a chief. I did not recognize him as a chief. I did not ordain him a chief. Before he, he, he be a chief, it is I, the parliament chief, that I'm giving that mantle of chieftaincy and making a chief in a sub area. He's going to be a chief in Dasuma, which I did not recognize. On the fateful day, one of my chiefs organized a naming ceremony, a naming ceremony, a child dedication. We went to the church, we went to the church. After church services, then we went for a reception ground. While the reception was going on, he came in, the accused person, with a truckload of talks and some land gas with a pump action and started shooting indiscriminately on the air that we all of us should go away from the scene and that the place that area is his territory and they were not supposed to come there to go the only function a lot of our people we are annoyed but have tried to put them down and as the foreign as a nigerian i don't think we have any territory to claim in ghana you understand me uh, okay, uh, Luchuku, um, I understand that you were at the event. Yes, I was present at the event. Yes, please tell us what you saw. Oh, the, 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 when we went to the location, the AZ, mm -hmm. Chief Sabek AZ, said that we should remove our caps. Okay. So he would pray. So uh, during the prayer, 
some people there refuse to remove their cap. Okay. Some uh, title men and elders there, they refused to remove their cap. So he was like, oh, are you above God? Why you should have to remove your cap, at least to, uh, to respect God. So not, this is not, what not caused him. the problem? Yes, that is where the but problem started. was there any gun in the... There was no gun. You didn't see I a gun? I didn't see a gun. But, so maybe there was a gun, but you didn't see? I didn't, there was no gun. There was no gun? Yes. Thank you very much.